So I don't know about you, but I am so over the summer. I mean, it's been great swimming and summer gardens and fruit, but I am ready for the fall to get here. So I decided today I am going to make a cake and I'm going to put a little bit of fall into it. So today I'm going to be making Dolly Parton's Southern Style Coconut Cake, but I'm going to make it with a twist. I'm going to be adding some peaches that I had frozen off my tree. And also I have a package of blackberries. So I'm going to show you how to turn an ordinary cake mix into something really delightful. You're going to love this. So we're going to start off by adding our different kinds of fruit. I just have some blackberries. And these are all things I just throw my fruit in the freezer whenever I have a a glut of fruit. Whenever things go on sale, like blackberries or raspberries, I buy, you know, several containers of them and throw them in my freezer. And then, of course, I always have lots of fresh fruit off my trees. So I am just going to go ahead and put those in a microwave safe bowl. And I'm going to just put a wet paper towel over this and I'm just going to put it on defrost and just let this kind of defrost and get ready. I'm going to put it through a blender and you'll see how I mix it in with the cake. Now I'm not interested in turning this into, you know, liquid, but I do want to break up these fruits a little bit. So I'm just going to throw these into my food processor and probably have to do a couple batches of them. I'm just going to pulse it a couple of times to chop these up. Okay, so we're gonna start off by putting our Dolly Parton cake mix in here. I'm not adding any additional coconut. Instead, I'm gonna be putting the fruit in. I'm gonna add my fruit mixture. And I'm gonna add four eggs. So after we add our four eggs, we're gonna add a half a cup of melted butter. Now I just melted this in the microwave and it kind of kind of got all over, so I'm a big mess today. But so we're gonna add our butter. And I usually stir this up first, and I'm gonna show you why. This is gonna be such a fun cake for the grandkids to have some of it. So this recipe calls for a cup of milk. Now I'm gonna put a little bit in at a time because some of that. Uh, fruit did make some liquid and that's fine. We just don't want it too liquidy. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this up with the mixer for about two minutes and I'll come right back and we'll see if we need to add more milk. Now this is a great way to get extra fruit into your mixes, whether you're making cake or ice cream or whatever it is, it's very easy to add fruit. The main thing you have to realize is that the fruit is going to have to be, well, it doesn't have to be, but it's usually easier if you break it down. Boy, that smells so good, and I am not kidding. So I ended up putting about a half of my milk in there. I'm going to save the rest for the morning, and we're going to put this into a sprayed and floured bunt pan. Now you can put it in any size pan you like. I just like the bunt pans. I think they come out really nice for cakes. Are you enjoying this video today? If so, will you give me a like or a thumbs up or share this video with someone you think might be enjoying it as well? I'm gonna try to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And at the end of the year, if I hit my 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away a brand new Presto canner to uh, one lucky subscriber. So if you're interested in, you know, being part of that drawing, please subscribe today. Send me an email to homesteadpatch63 at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and put you in the drawing. And if I can hit 10,000 subscribers, we all win. All right, so I've got this all floured and ready for the pan here, the cake. So all I'm gonna do is pour my cake in. Just like this. 
and I'm gonna stick it in the oven. I'm gonna cook this for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And I may need to cook it a little bit longer, but I've got the oven set for 350 and I'm gonna get going with this right now. So there's nothing like a cake baking in a house to make it smell like a million dollars. So this is my bun cake. I checked it after 30 minutes. It actually was done at 30 minutes. And uh, I just inserted a toothpick in a couple places and it came out clean. So what I do is I just take my, uh, my, my cooling rack and I've kind of pulled away a little bit at the sides of this pan. And all I'm gonna do is turn it over. It's very hot. This is a cast iron pan and just turn it real quick. And there you go. Perfect every time. All right, so we're gonna let this cool. And as soon as the cake is cool enough to frost, it's like a hot tamale right now. Uh, I'll show you the frosting that we got. Along with our Southern style coconut uh, cake, we got some Dolly Parton creamy buttercream frosting. So we're gonna use this to frost our cake. I love the Dolly products. I don't know about you, but I haven't had anything yet that hasn't come out just delicious. So my cake is all cooled off. So I'm gonna take some of this frosting, this Dolly Parton uh, buttercream frosting, and I'm just gonna put this right over the Bundt cake. And I don't know about you, but I just love buttercream frosting. It's just so good. And so I'm gonna just get this all frosted. This cake just smells so amazing, so delicious. I just know it's gonna be a big hit tomorrow. All right, so let me get this frosted and then we'll get the little decorations on and we'll be ready to go. All right, our cake is all frosted and all I'm gonna do is put a few of these little sprinkles on for the kids. Just makes it look really festive. Now, if you want to add extra coconut to this or maybe top it with some strawberries, I mean, this is kind of the time to do that. And I'm just going to put these sprinkles on it because I already know this is going to be something that's going to make my grandkids really excited. They just, they love sprinkles. <laughs> maybe a couple more. <laughs> So there's our beautiful coconut cake. This is the Dolly Parton uh, Southern Style Coconut Cake. We've added a package of our, our homegrown peaches and some blackberries and given it an extra delicious taste and uh, just a great way to add fruit to your cake. So thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll give some of the Dolly Parton mixes a try. I think they are very, very good. I've made several of them and um, I'm gonna link a couple of them at the end of the video in case you're interested. So uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or ring the bell for future notifications. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.